Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Crystal and I'm here in Rochester, Kent and I've taken Max out for a walk as, you, as anyone that's watched the previous video when I was walking outside you will see that some idiot I don't know whether it was a strimmer some handheld grass cutting tool whatever was left unattended on the footpath while I was walking my small dog fortunately he was on a lead and nothing serious happened I went out of this building around half past ten I took a Sainsbury's bag full of rubbish the bin men had already been and um, there's a bin bag full of rubbish with a Sainsbury's bag in it it's not mine I put my rubbish in the bin uh, remember anyone coming down in the lift with rubbish as there's a camera in the lift and there's two cameras in the hallway so anyone can see it's not my rubbish there's cameras they're stupid silly I'm trying to frame me um, I have not damaged the bin lid um, I'm gonna obviously tell somebody that there's a dangerous rubbish bin lid with a pole sticking out trying to make out I'm a mad nutter and I've gone around breaking the dustbins probably. It's my mother I'm talking about. It's not my son talking about me. I'm talking about my mother. They're a bit confused guys. They're trying to mix me up with someone else on purpose. Trying to make out what I'm saying is, is, is madness and it isn't. So I tried to press the, bu the, the buzzer to get out of the door and it's covered with rubbish. Obviously the bin men aren't going to take a micro an old microwave oven. They're not going to take an old hoover. And, then, and these people have probably got cars, they could take it to the rubbish tip. But they've just dumped it in the bin store and it is a fire hazard. It's a fire hazard. A lot of these people throwing rubbish out have got a car and they could take their rubbish to the rubbish tip. But it's easier to just dump it. So I managed to get outside because uh, the button was covered with crap. And I walked onto the field and cut, uh, uh, cut old uh, dogs off next door, squealing. The dog squealing. So, um, basically it was a couple of paper planes on the floor. Glenn had told me that her neighbour's going on holiday yesterday. He's a single man and he's going on holiday. Lucky him. Great, wonderful. I haven't been on holiday since 2011. Never mind. That didn't get me cross either. Um, Glenn also said she was going to put um, a note on Hyde Housing for me that my cat's gone missing. She was going to write a note to Hyde that my cat has gone missing. My tortoiseshell cat, Nikki, that's about 13 years old, so Glenn said she was going to put a, a, an add on for me. Or a note that my cat's got missing, not hers, mine's gone missing. Um, and then I walked up to the Rochester Riverside field where obviously they were cutting the grass and they were leaving their tools unattended. I walked around the field and then I came off. I came back home. My mother Jennifer had not called me. My son had asked me, Mum, are you okay? My son asked me if I'm okay, my son had. Um, I didn't answer it because I was on the field and I came back into my flat and my son had called me twice while I was outside. So I came into the flat and I rung my son up and we had a very, very brief conversation for three minutes. Three minutes.
Um, I'm thinking about going up to London to do a video um, in a few weeks' time. London. In a few weeks' time, we'll see. When the kids have gone back to school and it's a bit quieter, I might well go up to London and do a video up there. Um, so I spoke to my son and then he told, I, I said to my son, it's hot, I can't, you know, it's like it's brief, the humidity is awful. My son said, mum, why don't you go and have a shower? So I have, I've had a shower. As you can see, my hair is wet and I've just come out of the shower. Because my son suggested, you're hot mum, why don't you go and have a cold shower? So I've had a lukewarm shower. Not cold, not hot. I've got three cold air fans on and I feel faint. And I don't want to go outside because you can get heat exhaustion. Max is a tiny dog, there's no point walking Max off of his feet. He's tiny, he's not like he's a big dog and he's going to shit and piss everywhere, is it? If he did have an accident, his poo's minute. It's bloody tiny, guys. So if he had an accident, it's like a cat poo. It's like a small little cat poo. So what am I worried for? Rushing myself out with a dog when he's as smaller than a cat. He's smaller than a cat. It's not as if a big Labrador or a fucking red setter is going across the... It's being left indoors, shitting and pissing and chewing up the sofa, is it? He's a small, tiny chewy. He's a chihuahua. I can put him in my handbag, for fuck's sake. His poo is literally smaller than my cat's. And I empty her cat litter tray out every morning. In fact, I had two cat litter trays when Nikki was here. Now there's no point to that, is there? And remember, I've still lost my cat. I've still got my missing cat on my mind. I'm not a heartless bitch like some people. I have got my cat on my mind. That's why I took Max up to my mum's yesterday. And, and, and remember that, he, that Nicky went missing at the weekend when he had his kids here. So I can't go out at the weekend, can I? I'm trapped indoors at the weekend. That's ridiculous. So anyway, I've got some voicemails uh, to let you hear. And one of them is Volks Taxis. Volks Taxis, the female call operator from Volks Taxis, talking to me, not my mother. She was talking to me. I'm going to call voicemail. Welcome to your EE -E voicemail. You have one new message and seven saved messages. First new message received today at 12.40 p.m. Uh, good afternoon. Next saved message received Tuesday, August 
22nd at 7.33 p.m. Hello to the switch is my usual email and I block message deleted. Next state message received yesterday at 10.03 a.m. Message deleted. Next state message received yesterday at 5.23 p.m. Hi, this is the race for the Zyper Miller Rain and Taxis. Um, I'm not sure if you do still need the car or not, but I have got one on the way for you. It's going to be about five or six minutes. If you could give me a call back, my darling, thank you. Bye bye. To listen to the message again, press one. To save the message, press two. To the date your message will be saved for seven days. Next saved message received yesterday at 6.56 p.m. Hello, Janessa. I hope you got home safely. Wasn't too kind enough to take you back home. All right? Well, if any of that you've got home safely, then I can ring Sue and say thank her for actually driving you home. Could you do that, Janessa? Can you please give me a ring to let me know you've got home safely? So I can give Sue the name of her ring to say thank her for giving you the message. That was the post lady ringing my buzzer. The post lady <laughs> was ringing my crystal's buzzer and she said, Hello, Crystal. Um, I, the, the lady at number four, the lady at number four is bringing a parcel up for you. And this is what it is it's a tea bag hand-picked t-shirt delivered monthly and I open the door and the lady has put the parcel on my doorstep the woman's put the parcel on the doorstep so number four has put my parcel on the doorstep my parcel so the parcel's for me Reservoir Dudes, Reservoir Dudes, Mr. Blue, Mr. Orange, Mr. Red and Mr. Purple. So this t-shirt is for me, Crystal. So number four has put my parcel on the doormat. It's very nice of her to bring it up anyway. Um, I know the post lady has done it to me. And that's what I've done. I've put parcels on the doorstep. So the post lady has just rung my buzzer to tell me number four is bringing a parcel up for you. And she's put it on the doorstep. And I'm very, very grateful. It saved me going down the stairs to collect it. Thank you. She could have said to the post lady, no, I'm not going to do that. But... It was on my doorstep, which is very, very nice. Thank you. I'm not cross. I'm not upset. But this is all after a call from my mother. I'm starting the conversation with... Ugh! Listen for yourself. Now do you see why I'm not in a hurry to go outside? My son calls. He tells me to have a shower because it's hot. I, Crystal, have a shower. Right? My hair is wet. I don't want to answer the door to the neighbours with wet hair. It's just weird. It's really, really weird. It's weird. Anyway, I'm, I've got to cook my lunch and you could hear the taxi uh, rank call operator calling me darling me darling that's not made up 
That's not lining and I'm not mad either. Now I'm going to get on with the rest of my day. Um, number four is a woman. She's a woman and I'm a woman. So the post lady asked a woman to put a door, uh, uh, give me a parcel and I'm a woman. I told you. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? My neighbour with the Ford Mondeo has been out since early this morning. The guy upstairs has been out since early this morning. Right, I'm just texting this person. I don't know who they are. Right, so Trudy has left my parcel on my Chihuahua dog mat. That's what she's just done. See you later.